Finally, the goat of analog horrors has returned. That's right. Local 58 has come back. You've probably seen their public broadcast announcement one where it's like, but I'm not, I'm not going to spoil it, but they're back after two years with two new uploads. I'm excited. I don't remember what the plot was other than like the moon is bad. So but I can't, I can't remember if they beat it though. Did Eggman like blow it up or something? So this is the first video in the revival. It's called NSS A3 Atypical. Yeah, it sounds about right. This channel actually coined the term analog horror. It's like basically like a broadcast station with like spooky stuff. Hey, here we go. Is that text? Someone call Matt Pat. The face? That's the logo. Well, that sound's going to be burrowed into my brain for the next 20 years. Okay, on to the next one. I'm predicting this one to be a bit meatier because it's longer, more filled with content, you know, juicy. All right, let's- whoa, okay, they changed the logo. Looks all modern. Huh. Nightwalk. What's the name of the episode? Forgot to mention. Made programming, off-air. Okay. Lasker County, I don't- As the last glimmer of sunlight dissolves on the horizon, newborn shadows emerge to crawl, then stride, then race across a fear-hushed world. That's cool. I like the, uh... Oh, oh god. It's like a... It's like, it's like one of those, like, cable TV shows. Where they're, like, hunting for... Mason County, West Virginia. Bigfoot or something. Known for its share of strange occurrences and mysteries that border on the supernatural. Okay. Even the occult. Night occult, okay. The ghost stories in Mason stretch back a hundred years or more, as early as its founding by missionaries. Okay. The region is home to what some call the most haunted cities in America. But there is one particular legend that modern folklorists watched arise seemingly overnight. An urban legend unique to the county. The woman in profile. A local newspaper huh. printed the first instance of the story in 1961. But unlike other campfire tales, the woman in profile first appeared in a police blotter. Okay. Parties in Lasker City sought a person of interest who may have been the sole witness to the murder of Hannah Birch, a student at Maple Grove University. Witnesses described a woman standing in the courtyard looking intently into the sky at something. When approached by onlookers, the woman moved away into the shadows, her gaze still fixed. I like the comic book filter. Then she disappeared entirely. Or, or the art. Trace. So. Since that night, there have been over two dozen sightings of a woman who only appears in profile, her face upturned to the sky. Wait, what did I say? Witnesses. The lady can see me even though I'm not up there. Lovely. The toilet. Witnesses say the figure has even tried to <laughs> Okay. Oh no. Oh no, please don't do this to me. It's her mm -hmm. What the f Why did Why does she look like Voldemort from the first Harry Potter movie, like with the head in behind the head on the back of the head. It looks like it has two heads. It's not hair. I was right. What the... A predator. Cannot differentiate between prey and a count. Safety number. Okay. Wow. 
Okay, yeah, that one definitely was a more intense one. Oh, thank you for your patience. Of course. Oh, nice. We got two-headed weeping angel monsters, alien plant things attacking us, sort of, but also could be an ally, but probably not. And also that guy got sent flying, I guess. Listen, Local 58 still got it. Okay, they, they know they know how to like, trigger that nostalgia of 2000s. You're stuck in like a weird history channel clone at 3 in the morning, and they're doing like Sasquatch hunting and working some random town in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, what am I rambling about? That was awesome. I liked it. I want more though. I want to know how this connects. Also, the production, top notch as always. Man, Analog Horror is doing really well. This month, we got the Pumpkin Rabbit, and we got this. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. If this new Predator thing was foreshadowed in the earlier videos, tell me that too, because I don't remember them too much, or all of them. And also, if anyone's deciphered the text in the, the shorter video, let me know in the comments about that too. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mm. Getting hit by a moon hurts.